Miyazaki Prefecture has a population of 1.1 million with rich climate and nature in the southern part of the country. The mythology and traditional culture remain, bringing many visitors from Japan and abroad. All Japan Wagyu Show, also known as the Olympics of Japanese Beef, is held once every five years. Miyazaki Beef has been awarded as the best beef in Japan for two consecutive national titles. Cattle produced and fattened in Miyazaki Prefecture, fulfilling certain criteria, are branded as Miyazaki Wagyu. Miyachiku has a head office in Miyakonojo City. Using the latest equipment, the company supplies high-quality beef. Miyachiku was quick to lay the groundwork for exports and is currently exporting to six countries, the United States in the lead. Our beef is premium. It's marbled. And we would look for those who want that kind of beef. Miyachiku was the first to introduce Miyazaki Wagyu to Europe. The theme of the International Expo Milano is food. 148 countries and regions are participating from around the world. Miyazaki Prefecture set up an exhibit in the Japan Pavilion to promote Miyazaki. The governor of Miyazaki was there and handed out Miyazaki Wagyu to the visitors. It's tender and very juicy. The marbled Miyazaki Wagyu was a hit and the prepared samples were gone in a flash. Miyazaki is home to foods representing Japan. We hope to promote Miyazaki foods to all over the world and use Expo Milano as a chance to move into the EU market. On the other hand, the Japan International Seafood and Technology Expo was held at Tokyo Big Site. 783 companies from Japan and abroad participated in the exhibition. Among them was Miyazaki Caviar Producers Cooperative Association. In 2004, they were the first in Japan to succeed in the farm raising of white sturgeon. They began selling Miyazaki Caviar 1983 from 2013. The cooperative is considering full-scale overseas exports in the future. Kobayashi City lies at the foot of the Kirishima mountain range. White sturgeon are farmed in this scenic town, with spring water selected as 100 exquisite and well-conserved water in Japan. This fisheries research institute was the first in Japan to succeed in the complete farming of white sturgeon to artificially induce the fish to produce eggs and raise them until they mature enough to produce their own eggs. In 1983, Miyazaki Prefecture was given white sturgeon from the former Soviet Union as a testament to their friendship, leading to the setup of fish farming. However, at the time, there was little in the way of materials or data, and they could only farm the fish through trial and error. Though they were able to produce eggs through artificial insemination, they were unable to produce fry. Cultivation was extremely difficult, and they resorted to finding farming technologies by referring to sources such as overseas research papers. <laughs> We didn't know if the white sturgeon really had eggs. And even if they did, we had no idea if we would be able to make caviar. In the beginning, we were very anxious. After 30 years of effort, at last they succeeded in the production and productization of caviar. 
Imported caviar is often kept with high salt content and preservatives for long-term preservation. However, this does not apply to Miyazaki caviar. It is being matured to boost flavor components. These are the female white sturgeon that produce eggs. Each sturgeon is tagged and managed in order and are watched over their condition. Miyazaki caviar targeted the overseas market from the beginning. But since the white sturgeon is an endangered species, exports were not allowed in accordance with the Washington Convention. However, due to the requests made to the government by Miyazaki Prefecture and others, the system was adopted and exports are expected to begin soon. We aim to be the top brand in Japan. We have strong preferences when it comes to branding. Kushima City is one of Japan's most famous areas for the production of sweet potatoes, and there is a company which has discovered new value through branding. Kushima Aoi Farm is still new, established in 2013. The average age of the staff is 27. The company carries out the entire process by hand, from growing the sweet potatoes to processing and sales. CEO Makoto Ikeda had been farming for 20 years, but he wanted to try for a new style in farming, so he established this company. The sweet potatoes grown here are palm-sized. By developing snack-like foods, the company has discovered a new value for these sweet potatoes, which were too small to be sold as products. In addition, they have a high sugar content, and its flavor and texture differ by variety. The sweet potatoes have become hit products that sell well overseas, too. The cultivation method was changed to produce palm-sized sweet potatoes. With their unique cultivation method, the space between the seedlings are narrower and rows are made smaller. In addition, various innovations have been employed, such as branding sweet potatoes with different names and jointly developing packaging with a package manufacturer to enable them to be kept for a long time. Kushima Aoi Farm is also actively conducting sales overseas and forging new sales channels one after another. The company's style is based on face-to-face -face sales to hear opinions directly from locals to make improvements to meet needs. Based on these overseas achievements, in the future, the company will carry out new endeavors. It will enter the market in Vietnam, one of the most prominent producers of sweet potatoes in the world. In October, I'll go to Vietnam to conduct interviews and hire three people. Looking ahead, I want to build an Aoi farm in Vietnam. It'd be fantastic if all of Kushima becomes a brand area and foreigners decide to visit the place where our sweet potatoes are grown. Thank you.